right i will create a few files let's say promo.txt let's create another file let's say lucky.txt and let's create another file which is pra.txt okay how many files i have three files total number of files i have three files suppose if i do rm minus rf remove all the things star dot text file what it will do star basically means everything which end with the txt file everything which end with the txt file so all of the file will be deleted all the files are deleted do ls all the files are now deleted so it's a wild card in this case okay now move the file right move the file is very simple move the file is basically means so suppose i want to delete the delete me folder how do i delete it if i do this possible no i have to delete by using this okay suppose i am creating a new folder so make a directory let's say i am creating a fo folder name pop pop okay and i have a file here which is move to pop.txt if i do a ls if i do ls minus la there is a file name move to a pop so i want this file to be moved to this how do i do that i will use a move command right so if you type mv it it which is basically giving you information okay not possible where you want to do it so move which file move.pop where you want to do it in the pop enter now see go to cd pop do ls you will see the file is moved so the command is command is basically move source file and where you want to basically do it clear awesome okay cd dot dot right a dot zip is basically red file it is just a color coding that i am using if you change the color code this is just a theme guys theme i have changed nothing else profile colors okay yes one second profiles colors yes so preset i can do i can make this light uh, now you will see a different thing right this is just a color scheme you can change it this is just a feature in mac you can change the color schemes of your terminal okay profile go to colors this is in mac you can use there are couple of them which are allowed for example so right dark you can use a dark mode uh light background you can use anything i mean this is just for your purpose cp is again used for copy move is basically moving a file copy basically means copying something so right now i can copy a particular file for example promote.txt to a pop folder also same command you will see if you go to pop there instead of moving the file we have copied this it which means it should be available here also right so promote.txt is also available here also so i have just copied the command right this is clear awesome so copy is also there right find is basically used for finding the files for example i want to find a particular txt file it will able to find into the current system into current directory it will give you so if you don't pass anything okay i need for example pra star it will give you there are two files matching this pattern star basically means match pra dot if there are two files related to it i can to say like this also find me all the text files so all the text files will be found clear so star is basically a wild card wild card basically means it can be name can be anything but it should be a txt file find all the files which have zip so zip is only there's one file right zip file is there only now you can say find me all the file where p is there find all the file which is p is there p star now it will find all the files also within folder also see pop is also comes in now because you have not given the extension clear find is clear it is very similar to explorer right yes another command which is basically used to find a particular pattern also which is grab grab is also used for this grab basically means what you want to grab from the file right so let me see if we have grab related command so one second so grab examples okay so on the geeks for geeks there is a example given to you you can use so this is a very good example by the way geeks for you grab and the options what you can do is for example if you want to find a particular file for example you want to find by using the, a unix into this file for example i have a promote1.txt right so i want to find only vim into this file okay so i can use a command which is called as grab g r e grab grab something what is it the vim into this vim only this part i want to grab right into which file promote1.txt see it has basically come up it will give you a line from this wherever it will match a vim in this case suppose instead of vim i want to find where we can see which will give me all the lines where editor is there do you see anything do you see there are two there are two lines where editor is there now you will see isn't it amazing we can find in logs where there is a exception 
so suppose this is a log file suppose this is a application dot log file in this file we can find if there is a pattern name error so grab is basically used to find errors in this case right now we don't have any error but again let's let's suppose we are finding in the application log we are finding selenium let me see selenium is there no okay first of all let me cat this suppose i want to find this thought this is a this is something which we have right so we will use this part minus i is basically means this is a pattern i'm giving you i basically means that pattern c i is basically c it is basically ignore the case sensitive matching we are matching the, if you want to ignore the case sensitive match if you want to print only the count number of file so i want to see how many time it is coming use minus c three times it is like this you will explore so the more you will explore this command you will understand more. see guys the important point is that I want to give you the commands. Every command has some options that you need to play around with this. If I started covering one by one command, right? Trust me, it will take a lot of time. What I'm giving you is important command and how I have used this personally. The more you will use it, the more you will understand. You can explore. If you see on the geeks for geeks, right? There is only for one command, there is a full page. How many of you notice? Only for one command, there is a full page, which is dedicated for this. It is the more you will understand, the more it is there. But again, you don't have to learn all the command also what i'm trying to say is whatever it is required you should know that there is a way to filter out if you know there is a way to filter out then you will remember okay pramod sir told us grab command was there let's use grab now. this is how you need to learn it now another command is chamod which is sounds pramod like chamod and pramod right chamod <laughs> isn't it funny chamod okay which is basically nothing but a ch mod ch mode is basically used for the this is actually used for permissions right everyone in the windows right if you remember we have admin and then we have a sub users we have admin and then we have sub users also right so similarly we have a ch mode command into the machine in this linux system you can have a parent parent is known as root root is basically root the parent code level you can have user one you can have user two so suppose there is a file name a.txt we want this to give access so a can run the file user one can run this file user two cannot run this file users two can only see this file if you want to do this kind of permissions right then you can use chamod in this case which is nothing but a change mode for permissions got the point i'm going to give you a couple of reads so there is a one link i would give you which i want you to read about about it on the geeks for geeks there is a given there is a, there is a, a lot of options with the chamod okay what you can do you can basically add a permission you can remove a permission from a user right you can set a permission also you can do a read permission write permission execute permission for example suppose right now i am a root user if i do ch mode plus for example there is a w option w basically means write you can write to this i am giving a root permission you can write on the file let's say promote.exe if you do my uh, ls minus la okay you will see on the promote done one you will see there is an option which is coming now which is rw rw is for the writing file so this user already have a write so it doesn't make sense right can we remove this just check it out i want this to be removed in this case let's check the permission now you will see there is a read permission w is basically not available in this case which means ideally will not able to write on this file let's see if we are able to write it or not okay so insert mode no you are getting warning it is a read only file why we are getting this because we have made write permission is not there got it because i have removed this now i want to move back so what should i do so i don't want to write this q q without a which is which is into the command okay right one second quit Okay, to out, to go outside, quit and exclamatory sign. So we have to type chamod plus r plus w. Write this file, which is now it, uh, now it will be allowed. So if you want to now do it, see now if I do i, I can add the. So this is how you can use the permissions also by using the chamod. See, and there are multiple ways you can put a permission, right? If you read this article, it's a huge article which contains permissions. Now, question is, Pramod, where this permission is allowed? See, very important. Suppose this is a production machine and you are a tester. Do you think that a DevOps engineer will give you access to a particular production server? They will give you the access of production server? No, they will give you a read only access. Yes or no? Now you got the point. You can read the files. That's why these commands are used.